So I'm seeing all these guys, you know, whenever they do a new project, they do something. You have the Connor Wards, the Lawn Tools, those types of guys of the world that are just, you know, over, to over the top, they have all this time. They know guys that do all of this stuff and they have them make this 10 foot thing out of metal, but that requires you to know somebody who can weld. I can't weld. I maybe know somebody who welds, but I'm not far enough into this to be like, hey, friend that I sort of know, you wanna make me a leveling drag from my yard because I'm a weirdo? No. And I wanted to try to do something that you can make on your own because you can buy a level uh, that's kind of meant for stuff like this on Amazon, link right there. Um, that thing's $174 for four feet wide. Now, that is absurd because this thing back here, I made for about 50 bucks. So, let's talk a little bit about it. So, this is just four by fours, two by fours, some two by twos, a chain and some hooks all of which I bought at Home Depot, and I think all of which I bought for about 50 bucks. So it's one eight foot, two by, or uh, four by four, excuse me, cut in half to serve as the kind of primary edge structure. And also I'm figuring to add a little bit of weight, um, just a couple of kind of reinforcement pieces in the middle, and then four eight foot two by fours. This is an eight foot span, and you just pull it. And I've been pulling it myself with my own body weight, my own sweat and blood, which I would not recommend. I just do not happen to have um, a four-wheeler or a lawn tractor or anything to pull it with. So it's just me, myself, and I lugging this thing around. And as a result, I probably haven't gone over the area over here as many times as I'd maybe recommend or as I would call perfect because, and cameras don't do well with elevation, but you can kind of see through there. There's a swale in there yet. Um, but this will not be the only time ever that this area is leveled. And then you can see it kind of comes up as a high section right there. Um, but it's working. I mean, this was not even close to looking like this. And for about a half hour of dragging this thing around, this is what it looks like. And I'm rather pleased with that. So because of all the lumber, because of, you know, what it is, it's fairly heavy. Um, and so it, it drags off and scrapes off the top pretty well to get this kind of all, all taken care of and squared away. And, and it just works. And over time, we can use this for like top dressing and things like that as well to kind of get this back to level er um, to where we can get rid of some of the rolling bits and uh, pitch pieces of it and get it all smoother over time. It does not happen to ha have to happen right now, nor will it happen right now because I don't have the time. And if you can hear it in my breath, I've finished this up 10, 15 minutes ago and I'm still fighting for wind. So not gonna be something we ever do in one shot and it's just gonna take time and we're gonna keep after it, but it works.
Well, there we have it. I was able to make a wide span leveling drag without needing to weld anything. And I think it's done a fairly good job so far.